Today I'm going to be sharing some DIY outdoor play ideas and hacks that you're not going to want to miss. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Back to my channel guys for today's video I'm gonna be sharing some really cool DIYs and ideas for this playhouse back here now before you say well I don't have a playhouse like that you can check a Facebook marketplace you're gonna find a lot of stuff especially now that the warm weather is coming yard sales the thrift store every time I go to Goodwill I see a playhouse or some sort of play structure for kids that's gonna be on the budget friendly side you can go to Amazon or you can just if you want to buy a playhouse also if you guys enjoy DIYs, hacks, Dollar Tree stuff, home improvement stuff, this is definitely the channel you want to watch. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and of course hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and you're not going to miss them. And you guys know me, I'm going to try to do everything on a budget. Of course if I can't, I'm going to go out and buy some stuff that might cost me a little more. But for right now, I'm going to show you guys you what I'm going to do. see, this playhouse has a very neutral feel, it's more like a farmhouse look. And I was going to stick with a farmhouse look, but... You know, why do that? I can save the boring, low-key decor for inside my house. I think kids love colors and everything. And since I don't really want to paint this because I like how it is and I don't want to go through the trouble, I did really get some nice colorful things to liven it up. I wanted to add some storage underneath the sink and I had these hooks from Dollar Tree. I only had it two and I bought four baskets from Dollar Tree as well. Eventually I'll hang up all four but for now we're just going to do two. And then I'm also using some microfiber cloths to just have her um, have something to clean up with when she's playing. Okay so I got two of these Dollar Tree baskets and then also a planter hanger and some zip ties. With that, I'm going to create a hanging fruit and veggie basket, and that planter hanger or the planter chain is long enough to split into two. So the part with the hook is going to go to the top, and then the other half is going to be attached to the bottom of the first basket, and then the bottom basket, and that's going to be hanging. And because the bottom piece does not have a hook, I'm going to attach, I'm going to attach it with a zip tie. So I got this set at Ross for $8.99 and it just has a bunch of like fruits and veggies and it comes with a cutting board, a knife, and they're ones that have Velcro in the middle so that they can actually pretend like they're cutting them. And you can find some of these at Dollar Tree but I think they only have like two per pack and then it does have a cutting board and a knife um, so I thought maybe this was like a better, I don't know, I just saw it so I grabbed it. You can find tons of budget-friendly stuff like this on Amazon, which I do have linked in the description. It's a link to my Amazon storefront where you can find a list of all of my favorite supplies, home decor, and all that. Make sure you check it out. So I got a few of these wall racks and originally I was going to put it down lower but because they do poke out I don't want Kai to fall and get hurt on it so I'm going to attach them a little bit higher on the house and it's going to be above the sink and this is where I'm going to put all this cute Dollar Tree stuff that I got all the like utensils, cutting boards and all that. It's so fun making this for Milani and Kai. I got all these cute little um, utensils from Dollar Tree and then I also have a little cutting board and I found these in like the Easter section or was it? even Easter or spring or whatever but I thought they're super cute because of like the pastel colors and I think it's gonna add a perfect pop of color into this and she does already have like this little microwave and then she has some pots and pans here that I'm gonna hang up.
I found this cute basket at Goodwill and I thought it would make the perfect light pendant for the house. So I'm just going to give it a little coat of gloss baby blue paint and then I'm also going to attach a chain to the bottom part of it. And the chains that I get, I usually just buy like the planter hangers from Dollar Tree and this is basically what that is. So I did attach it with the hooks but I also added a ton of hot glue on the top so it wouldn't move afterwards. So you can buy Dollar Tree push lights but I actually already had these and I think I got these at Home Depot but you could probably also find them at Lowe's um, and I have one two three four five I lost one that's okay I'm gonna put one in the chandelier and then the other one's just around the house and here's my little remote and batteries okay so I stuck the magnet right onto that piece of metal right there um, with the sticky part I'll probably add some glue to it and then I'm going to put the light right in there. These lanterns from Dollar Tree, and even if I hung them up with a hook right here, it's going to kind of be against the window. So I'm going to hang them up right here. There's this really cute spring section at Dollar Tree and I found all the awesome bright and pastel colors that I thought would be perfect for the house. So I'm just picking up a few of these items to decorate the house. two of these what are these mats from Dollar Tree I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna make a welcome mat for her and I know they're black again we were gonna go with the farmhouse look but I changed my mind but I like that it has these little pastel colors on here also and I'm just gonna take some hot glue and like glue these together That is all glued together. Now I'm going to take this cute welcome sign from Dollar Tree also. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the edges and then just plop it down there. So that way they don't trip on it and it doesn't come off. I'll get you, I'll get you. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. I'll pick you up. Okay, hold on, close them, don't open them. Don't open them. Okay, open them.
You like it? Yeah. What about over here? Turn this way. Look it. I love it. You love it? Yeah. Are you share? Yeah, I'll share with you. Is Kaito, what, what are you microwaving, Kaito? Nothing. Yummy. <laughs> Down this part? Yes, please. Here go. Here's this lemon. Oh, it's so sour. You want some lemon too? Mm. No, not for real. <laughs> Pretend. Pretend. Only like this guy to look. Whatever, I'm over it. I'm gonna go do something else. <laughs> we recently got rid of two enormous trees that were about to fall over so now we have this area that's nice and clear you can see there's a um, play set over here like a swing set um, so right in this area I'm gonna be making more outdoor play stuff that they're gonna enjoy and hopefully you guys can get some ideas too to spruce up your outdoor space for your kids to play with we've been doing a lot of stuff outdoors we've been doing a lot of projects so with that said we also have a lot of trash that I'm gonna try to repurpose for these said DIYs. So starting over here, we have a lot of these pavers that are no longer gonna go around. So this was all pavers and this is what we have. So I'm gonna use some of these. Okay, and this is the space that I'm talking about. It's kind of nice and flat. There is a little bit of a dip going that way, but for the most part, I think I'm gonna go all across these panels right here. This is probably about 10 feet and then maybe five or six feet this way. So I'll need about 50 or 60 pavers, which I think I have just enough for that. So I had just finished working out. It was pretty early in the morning and I was just manhandling all the tools and the pavers and such <laughs> and then I finally just went inside and got breakfast and then after that everybody else woke up so I kind of brought them outside to help me a little bit but honestly I like working by myself just because I don't know <laughs> I like things done my way sometimes and you know sometimes they don't listen to me but I appreciate their help and so here the pavers are all down and then I actually just swept all of the dirt and all of the whatever I had on there I put it all on top of the pavers wet it and then with a big brush I just went across that way it fills all the cracks in the pavers so they don't move too much Originally, I was going to use some scrap wood to make a chalkboard, but I actually found this uh, board at Home Depot and it was only eight bucks and change. So I thought it would just save me the trouble of buying paint and, you know, sanding and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hang this one up and that's the perfect little spot for some artwork. first glance these are just old cabinets from our old kitchen but we're gonna go ahead and reuse this bottom one to make something also and you know you may look at it and say hey this is trash but I saved it for a reason and it's gonna become it's gonna become something useful So I was going to leave the cabinet just like that, but I wanted to make it a little bit taller. That way Milani doesn't have to like hunch down to use it. So I added some extra pavers to the bottom and just, you know, set it off to the corner. And so this piece is perfect because you can also, or I can also use it as storage for like her toys or anything else. And I wanted to make it like a sandbox or maybe like a water play station. Um, I don't know about the water, but definitely the sand. So I actually got these kitty litter trays at Dollar Tree and they fit perfectly inside of the openings. Um, the only thing is that they're just a little bit 
in the way from closing it completely. So I might find something to attach to where I can close it all the way. Uh, either way, you know, I can put the tubs at the top or use smaller tubs from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I also picked up a 50 pound bag of play sand from Home Depot for six bucks and change. <laughs> and I had my husband pick it up because it was a little heavy. So we're just going to fill those up and then use some really cool sand toys from Dollar Tree to finish that off. I wanted to make a fun little umbrella, so I'm using a mop head, some display easels, some zip ties, a Dollar Tree umbrella as well, and then some uh, or a luau, luau skirt. I used a couple of those actually. It didn't turn out exactly how I pictured it, but it's still cute. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can just buy one, but I thought it was fun making this. So I'm just going to attach the mop handle. Did I say mop head earlier or mop handle? Mop handle. I'm going to attach it with some glue and then also some zip ties. So I took the handle off of the umbrella and then I'm adding some pool noodle, like pieces of pool noodle to stick right into the mop handle and adding a bunch of hot glue to make it stay. And then I actually ended up doing a zip tie around it as well. I'm going to go ahead and open the umbrella and then I'm going to start gluing my luau skirt on the top. And I thought for some reason two was going to be enough, but it's not. I also thought about spray painting the umbrella, but I didn't want to really mess with it. Um, you know, long term, I don't know how long we'll have this out there because it does get windy sometimes. But you know, I still think it looks really cute. And I'm going to add a pool noodle to the mop handle <laughs> to give it another bright look. And then we're just going to add all these other fun things that they're going to play with. And I'm telling you, you can find tons of stuff at Goodwill, especially like play, um, play sets or, you know, anything outdoor play um, you can find. We took a little trip to Goodwill and I found a bunch of cool stuff that they could use outside, like these big blocks. And then uh, Milani also found this really cute wagon that's like $5.29, but it was half off. So I only got it for like $2 and change. And we're going to go and take a look at our little fun zone. So cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. And then also make sure you check out these other videos that I have. Super awesome outdoor hacks you don't want to miss. See you guys on the next one. Bye.